Hey everybody, so uh, today I'm here to show you how to use your TI-89 to find the derivative uh, to find indefinite uh, integrals which would be the antiderivative of a function and then how to find the definite integral which would be the area under a curve and you can also use this instruction to find uh, the minimums and maximums of a function from uh, one x coordinate to another on the uh, graph and uh, any zeros that lie between one point and another and then you can also use it to find uh, the derivative at a specific point which would be the slope alright and so there's two different ways to do this you can do this in the graphing screen or you can do this on the regular screen I'm using an old TI-89 uh, it should be similar on a new one uh, the layout of some of the stuff may be a little different and then the 84 the layouts just a tiny bit different um, I think you may not have these on the top you're gonna uh, like you do on the 89 you're either gonna have to use uh, you're gonna have to find calculate down here or math to be able to use it or on the graphing screen um, on mine the TI-89 I've got all the all the options listed up here and uh, for you, so for me, it's going to be under F5 math. Um, for you, it's going to be, I think, shift F4 on the 84. And uh, and that'll, there should be, I think, calculate above F4. So that'll bring up calculate, which for me, it's math. Math, calculate, same thing. Okay, so let's go to Y equals. I'm going to show you the graphing side first. I think it's a little easier. Okay, so uh, I've put in a formula here and uh, this formula I've got it written down here from my notes and uh, so we're trying to find the definite integral from uh, the square root of u minus uh, 2u squared divided by u and then the derivative of, of u and so uh, so the first step in solving this would be to find the antiderivative and we can do that from the main screen if we wanted to uh, or since it's a definite uh, we could just ask it from 1 to 9 and so on the on the main screen okay what you're gonna do is go to uh, calculate which for me is F3 and see so you can differentiate or you can find the uh, integrate or integral okay so uh, let me do the uh, derivative first so you get the funny little D down there okay and uh, so let's say uh, let's find the derivative of x to the power of 3 okay so you're gonna put in the formula first so x to the power of 3 I think we should get what 3x squared um, put a comma okay so there's my comma button alright and uh, then you're gonna put the variable that you're trying to find which would be X so I think you could substitute like a U if you wanted to but then you'd have to put comma U well just whatever the the variable you're trying to find in the first part alright and then close it and hit enter and so we got 3x squared. So that's how you find the derivative. Now to find the antiderivative or the uh, indefinite integral, uh, what we're going to do is the same thing. We're going to hit F3, br bring down that menu, and then we are going to find the integrate. All right, and so you got the integral symbol, little uh, funny shaped S. All right, and same thing. Let's do x to the power of three, which would be what uh, x to the power of four divided by four is the answer we should get. So let's put comma, and then we're going to put x once again. We want to find it, you know, with the variable x. Okay, so it should look something like this. All right, then we hit enter, and there is the antiderivative or the indefinite integral. Okay, and so then the next step, if we want to find the definite integral, uh, let's say, let's do the same one. What we'll do is we'll go F3. All right, find the integrant. 
and we are going to say x to the power of 3, x cubed, all right, comma, x for our variable. And then what we're going to do now to find it at a specific point like we're doing right now, put another comma, and let's say 0 to 1. We want to find the uh, definite integral from 0 to 1 for x to the power of 3. And so what that basically is is the area under the curve, under the formula from uh, 0 to 1 under the function uh, x cubed. Okay, so let's put 0, the, uh, the lower limit, and then another comma, and then put the upper limit, which is 1. And now we are going to hit enter. All right. And we get 1 fourth, which is correct. Okay, and so now to do this on the graph, uh, like I said, I put in this formula, and I substituted x. Uh, for u, once again, here's that formula on paper. Okay. And so now we're going to go to the graph. And graph it here for us. Okay. And so uh, this is where it's different on the 84 and the 85. I know, or I mean the 89, I know for sure. So if I bring up F5 on this, it should be F4, I think. It's calculate on, uh, on the TI-84. Oh, and here's where you can find, uh, you could put in the minimum, maximum, zero, or find the value at a point. Um, but with any of these, it's going to give, it's going to ask you for, other than value, it's going to ask you for a beginning x coordinate and an ending x coordinate. It's going to find any of those values in between. Okay, and so we want to find uh, the integral, the definite integral. Okay, so it's asking us the lower limit and. In this problem, we had 1 is the lower limit and 9 is the upper limit. Okay, so let's put in 1 for the lower limit. Now, uh, if you were to try and scroll with this, uh, with this button, you're going to get all types of crazy decimals. So I suggest you just type it in. And if you had something crazy like a sine-cosine problem, you could actually put fractions in here so you could do like... Uh, pi divided by 4 if you wanted to and it that that is a uh, uh, proper value for you to put in it that will work um, highly suggest that over actually putting in any kind of decimal alright but we don't want to use that in this one we want to go from 1 lower limit okay so it found 1 all right, and then the next one, we want the upper limit it's asking us for, which is 9. So we put in 9, hit enter. It's going to find the area right there. It even uh, shaded it for us to show us. And the answer it gave us is negative 76. And here you go. Uh, when you do all the work, you come out to negative 76. And then let's uh, let's go and play with this a little bit in uh, back on the main screen. Uh, like I said, I think it's easier on the graph. I'm more of a visual person. Okay, so uh, so the formula is going to be the square root of x. Or well, let's you know what? Let's try let's try and do it with u. I always just substitute x, but. Uh, we're going to do u this time. All right, minus 2 uh, u. And that's raised to the power of 2. And then close that for the upper part of the, the fraction. All right, and now we want to divide by u. OK. Oh, and uh, I messed up here at the beginning. I should have put, that's just the formula. Okay. And so what we want to do, let's see. Let's just hit enter on that. Oh, oh it doesn't want to do it without anything. Okay. So before it, we can put F3 to drop down the calculator tab. And we want to integrate. 
So we want to find the antiderivative. And so there you go. You see we got that at the beginning. All right. And that, uh, and then, okay, at the end of the, so that's the formula at the first part. And next we're going to put in a, trying to make sure I got all my brackets that I need. Okay, so comma. And we were wanting to solve for u, so we'll put in u. All right, and we'll close it. Oh, too few arguments. Uh-oh. Let me make sure I got everything in here right. You know what, let's just go from, let's go ahead and give it the two points. Let's see what happens. One's the lower limit, nine is the upper limit. Uh-oh, too few arguments. All right, let's go back and do this with x. I have a feeling, like I said, I never do it with any variable other than x. And I want to take out the one and the nine. Sorry, I know the answer for. All right, and x. Uh-oh, we're still doing something wrong. Let's see. Too few arguments. I guess I should have tested this big complicated one before I went to show you. Too few arguments. Ah, okay, well, maybe some more experimentation there, uh, but you get the idea. So, like, let's say we wanted to find, oops, uh, the integral from x to the power of 3, comma, x for our variable, and we want to find it from 0 to 1, and we know it's going to be 1 fourth. Let's see. Oh, yep. Came up with one fourth. And so that's how to use your graphing calculator to find.